Krishna spirituality, a most revered and demonstrated aspect of this great culture, is under attack. Its enemies are seemingly from within, influenced by the powerful message of those who come bearing religion. For centuries, the Dugu ceremony, a sacred healing ritual, has been performed to honor and commune with the spirits of the ancestors. While it has found widespread acceptance and freely coincides with other forms of Christianity, the practice is besieged by evangelism. Father Callistus Cayetano is one of 13 prominent Garifuna priests. As an ordained minister of Roman Catholic faith, he is at the juncture of Christianity and tradition. He responds to what has been said about Garifuna spirituality in other parts of the church. At first, it's a little bit disheartening to hear again in this day and age condemnation of our deep, sacred religious uh, practice that we call Dugu. Very, very special to us, Garinago. Uh, to us, it's a he it's a cultural healing ceremony that involves, yes, our ancestors, the, the spirits of our ancestors, as, as, as well as the reconciliation of, of the living with the dead uh, to bring about healing, to bring about peace, and to bring about solidarity. While the ritual itself is held to bring about mutual agreement and support within families, and by extension, the wider Garifna community, the effect of religious conversion is dividing the people. We, as Christians, Garinago, we embrace the ancestors, ancestry things, and this, that, or the other. To the believers, we put that aside. But to the non-believers, they still, still believe in it and keeping it up. But you know something? It is time to break the barrier. Amen. It is time for each and every one of us Gar Garinago. Because first of all, if you going to tell me that after your father or mother died, then they will come and inflict all kind of things on you, the things that they didn't do to you while they were still alive, you, you look at me and tell me that is my grandfather, that is my grandmother, that is my sister or whoever. I don't think so. Amen. I don't think so. That's nothing but the devil. Amen. And the devil will disguise himself in any form, show or fashion, just to get to the weaklings. If that were indeed the case, one could then simply argue that like Haitians who practice the age-old syncretic religion of voodoo, Garinogo, through their belief in Dugu, have been weaklings for hundreds of years. We believe that there is life after death, you know, and that the soul uh, must be helped to reach its maker, our God, you know. And that is why we have masses, masses for the deceased, you know, to help them on their way to Siri, to heaven, you know. And, and then um, also, why we have the good, as Father Carl said earlier, we have the good standing because we believe in reciprocity. I for you, you for me, I am because you are, you are because I am. It's a reciprocity thing. And this goes beyond the grave. It is, in reality, a profound spiritual relationship, one that does not include necromancy. There's, there's no witchcraft uh, involved at all. Rather, it's a meeting of family members uh, to request the healing of a particular family member, uh, as well as the solidarity of the other family members, relatives, and friends to bring about the this, this ceremony for the healing of this person. And so among us, Garinago, we have practiced this way back 
even before Christopher Columbus came to, to the Americas. Pastor Victor Enriquez, nonetheless, maintains that nothing is gained or achieved from the practice of Dugu. What do they get out of it? Absolutely nothing. I don't think there is anything they get out of it, not more, not more than just spending money foolishly, okay? Because my Holy Bible tells me that once a man is dead, he is to be buried. Dead man doesn't eat. Someone that died doesn't eat, doesn't drink, okay? And spending all that money for things like that, it is, it is uncalled for. But to the ones that believe in it, they still want to do it because there is money in it for the ones that, that are doing, that, that are over it. What is your reaction when you see Garifuna men and women who arguably grew up in an environment where Dugu was practiced while they were growing up, now set that aside based on becoming religious converts. What was your initial reaction on Friday when you saw these men and women stand behind uh, Pastor Sturm and Pastor Lance Lewis? Well, listen, my reaction was that um, they sold themselves cheap. Um, I suppose they have their reasons for it, you know. And, but, but one thing I always beg you, Sani, you don't have to accept what you are saying, but at least respect it, man. Respect it. That is what we need to encourage in Belize. Respect for each other's culture, each other's language, each other's religion, and other practices. Respect. You don't have to accept, but at least respect and show respect. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayatano.